Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. In experience, the life and the culture of heaven has been allowed to find expression. name of the Lord. Amen. Pastor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Just a moment. Thank you very much. So, so flattered by your love. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I know that tonight our lives will never be the same. I was so humbled when I came in and I saw three people outside your overflows. Praise the Lord. Now, just two things. We're going to sit down. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help anyone under the anointing close to you while we teach. Praise of God is in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be here only for a few minutes tonight. So that we can honor the time. But I want your heart to be open. Pastor, thank you. You have an amazing worship team. My God. My God. These people. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you love prayer? Can we pray? Please lift your voice in one minute. Just pray in the spirit. Cry for the spirit of revelation. Help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe with all my heart that this conference will answer its name in our lives. It's a conference that seeks to ignite and seeks to activate dimensions that for some has been dormant for a long time and for others it is a virgin dimension that has never been treaded but in any case i like for your heart to be open like pastor said just giving the charge you can come and spectate and be happy and feel good and go back but then you can come with a hunger in your heart and take something of substance back hallelujah praise the name of the lord when the Lord puts meetings like this, it is because He seeks to shift us to levels and then dimensions in the Spirit. Micah chapter 4, the prophet began to speak about the character of the end time church. When you read from verse 1, Micah chapter 4 from verse 1, he says, In the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house he said shall be established in the top of the mountains it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow you don't flow to a mountain a mountain is upwards but the pressure to command that people will flow they will defy the limitations next verse this is why they will flow and many nations shall come and say let us go up to house on the rock Potakot, the mountain of the Lord. He says, unto the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. 
he will teach us his ways conferences like these are feasts of light when God by his spirit opens us up and quickens our understanding remember authority in this kingdom is predicated upon your understanding understanding is such a miracle that the Bible says then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture so I pray in the name of Jesus that you will lend your destiny your attention for the next few minutes I believe pastor that there will be manifold activations in this place in the please be seated again it's my honor to be here and I glorify the Lord for the privilege in the name of Jesus Christ we're dealing with the subject of the supernatural and um, I think that this has been a subject that has um, not been properly understood in the body of Christ generally we love the idea of the supernatural we love the feeling of anything that exerts dominance above the three-dimensional realm but then it looks like there are a lot of gaps in our spiritual understanding as to the dynamics of the supernatural and the spirit realm almost everyone will agree that there is a reality beyond the realm of science Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 that grace is not limited to your intellectual deficiency if any it's a grace that can walk through whatever limitation and cause you to see Paul was speaking and he said Ephesians 3 and verse 9 that a grace was given to him being the least of the apostles and that that grace can make all men see all men see so expect to understand there is nothing complicated when the Spirit of God is at work because he will open your eyes to see are we together man glory be to Jesus Genesis chapter 1 let's start from there wherever we stop tonight the Lord will help us will continue tomorrow pay whatever price it will take to be here tomorrow make the sacrifice and let's trust God to really really feast and be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ a loud shouting in the spirit I'm seeing a number four and the power of God is coming on four people right now in this place there is a loud shout that I'm hearing you called it an activation conference That your life will never be the same the Lord is quickening your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit so that these things are no longer strange strange can, can I just do my thing here praise the name of the Lord we're going to go to the word shortly but I just saw it I saw that number four number four number four number four it's a quickening of the spirit I'm seeing the wind blowing there is a grace for intercession that is resting on people in this place right now from the front to the back is a strange wind. may that grace come upon you now a quickening I'm seeing people there's, there's just a wind and I'm seeing fire resting on people it's an ignition even at the overflow outside I'm seeing at the overflow Shalantas Kabaratosia Shatabradeke de Balakatos Sabrande Gabaru Sesti de Balata You will never be the same Immersed in His glory Prakatos Zadela Sabanda Shalakos Sadahas Kabadiata Shabradeke Baru Dasiata House on the Rock for Takot If visitation comes to you tonight You will never be the same 
We'll get to the word shortly. The grace for intercession, intercession, intercession. I'm hearing in my spirit, I'm restoring, I'm restoring, I'm restoring. This is what God is saying. You have lost time, you have lost things. I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. Help them please. Restoring families. Receiving restorations. In the name of Jesus. Please help that woman. Just bask in that glory for a minute or two. The Lord is bringing you restoration. By the spirit of the living God. I don't know who this man is. My friend, look at me. Lift your hands. I see an anointing coming upon you. The Lord is restoring everything you've lost. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoring everything that was lost. Restoring everything that was lost. There's a lady in the choir. The Lord is bringing your family. This year will not end before you see this restoration. There is an anointing that is coming on you. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Who is Abel? I'm hearing a name, Abel. I'm hearing a name, Abel. We'll be seated shortly. But I just sense that your hunger is touching the heart of the Father. I'm hearing the name Abel and the Lord is ministering to me that he's bringing restoration to the family of Abel. Abel, what's your name? Abel. Wow, interesting. Come. Do we have another mic? What's your name? Abel is your name or your surname? I will pray with you so we are not distracted. Huh? You're, you're, you're a member of this church? You came from somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over your life now, over forever. In the name of Jesus, my dear, lift your hands. I release a grace upon you and I shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be small. In the name, demand of something that must come upon your life in this conference. Creator of the universe What can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Sing it again and listen to what you are saying. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, what can you do? Jesus? You're the name of God and we are the name. What can you change? What can you change? What can you change? One, two, three, four years. You are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Who is that? Four years. Four years. Come. It's time for you to receive. What can you do? Pastor, 
thank you for putting this program thank you in your obedience is the lifting of someone in your obedience is the answer to prayer it doesn't take God alone it takes God and yielded men pastor again thank you am I wasting your time bring the lady that shouts under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone I want to speak to her the power of God is coming on one of you and I'm seeing what looks like a chain breaking because Jesus is in the midst of his people I tell you the grace of God is mighty and strong in this place please just coordinate them just walk with the ushers in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me there is a name that is above every other name bring her the Lord says concerning your family remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing behold I do a new thing let the voice of lamentation come to end in your family in the name of Jesus the Christ of God did the Bible not say when you come on to Mount Zion there are in an innumerable company of angels it says therein is also the spirits of just men made perfect Jesus himself the first begotten I want to pray for those trusting madam I'm seeing an angel removing something from you this woman on black in the name of Jesus right here at house on the rock be free we bring you the liberty of the spirit what can you do Jesus you are a For those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb I stand in faith with your pastor and I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names according to the time of life return with miracles believe it I'm not motivating you listen listen it is seen it is seen to make bold proclamations that you do not have the grace to support it the Bible says that everyone should minister according to the measure of grace in the name that is above all names again by Jesus the head of the church we decree and declare in the name that is above all names barrenness of all sorts be gone now and forever be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus please return to your seats rejoicing hallelujah Amen. please be seated let's see that we can do something tonight goodness you see there's something about hunger when the hunger of a man touches the heart of his maker he's compelled to respond some of you have prayed some of you have fasted some of you have been here for hours You have stretched your appetite from border to border and now he has come to satisfy that long hallelujah Genesis chapter 1 
let's go to the book of the beginnings as we explore the realm of the spirit as we explore the supernatural what you're hearing tonight are not theological dissertations these are truths based on the integrity of God's word based on the wisdom that has come from the life of those who have found these keys and I pray that God will open our eyes the Bible says Genesis 1 and verse 1 in the beginning God created don't worry about what he created just focus in the beginning God created doesn't matter whether it was the heaven or the earth whether it was man the idea is that in the beginning God created in the beginning God created it happens to be that what he created was the heavens and the earth that means he was not living in any of those realms you can't create what you are inside listen carefully please in the beginning God created the heavens then he created the earth two dimensions and then the Bible says verse 2 many things happened and as a result the earth was dark void formless and then the Spirit of God hovered around the earth we never got to see what happened the first time but now we're having an opportunity to see a recreation and then chapter 1 and verse 3 the Bible says and Elohim said light now study the progression in the beginning he created we don't have the opportunity to see the raw materials and the dynamics the Bible just summarizes it so it's difficult to reproduce that result because the dynamics were not known we just know he created the heavens and the earth are we together now he breaks it down in verse 3 that for your information this is how creation starts light light be and he said and he saw because there was light not because he spoke and he said please follow me I don't know how pray for me while you are seated there because we have to this 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 thing is, is something that we have to really really dive into seriously light be and then when light came he began to speak and he saw everything he said because he said it in the presence of light that means it is not the speaking it is the light the illumination that strengthens and activates that speech this already is a serious deliverance for someone who just believes that all there is to creation and activating possibilities is just to talk uh -uh. you talk in the presence of light when there was light then he could speak and see what he said if there is no light you can speak but you will never see light be that light was not sunlight sunlight was created on day four that light is what the bible calls the life of man it was apostle john who understood that mystery that we're dealing with with spiritual dynamics here so he said light be and there was and then he began to create a lot of other things he gave us that opportunity to see that light is a principal factor as far as activating possibilities are concerned but this is not even where I'm going to the Bible lets us know immediately from Genesis 1 that this world and the reality that we find ourselves in is dimensional the Bible did not just say God created space uh -uh. He says he created a dimension and named it the heavens so even if you consider the heavens they are dimensional it's not just heaven the heavens 
many planes of spiritual reality and then the bible says he now made the f he didn't say x f there is one f so every time we talk about earth we all know we are talking about the same thing but when we talk about heaven you must define what dimension are we still together now and then the bible lets us know that god began to do several things and one of it was to make the stars the sun and he said that those stars should signify seasons upon the earth are we together now the book of the beginnings so we understand that this earth that we live in and our interactions as human beings is dimensional we now get to verse 26 when man is about to be created or recreated if you believe because adam was not the first man you know that by now of course not Adam was the first man created in the image and the likeness of God but before his arrival there were other humanoid species the Bible leaves it as a testament it's not hidden science also proves it it is in this one fact that both the Bible and science agree Adam was created in the image and the likeness of God are we together now the making of man already gives us a revelation of how we should function because the bible says it this way and elohim the plural singular is eloha and elohim said let us make a species called man and let us construct this man in such a manner that he will have our image and likeness our image our spiritual form the character intrinsically that makes god god that's what satan wanted the image and then likeness means let him look like us and function like us are we together now then the bible says that god made man in his image and then he was told to have dominion now watch this god created man a spirit in fact a holy spirit the spirit of god is not the only holy spirit you are a holy spirit he's only the most holy spirit except you don't believe in salvation just don't don't just are we are we together are you in agreement with me so he created man a spirit and now there was a problem this is where we are going to please listen when he created that spirit if he left that spirit that way he will violate one of the fundamental laws in the realm of the spirit it's called the law of territory that means you remain an illegal occupant in any territory till you are built with the raw materials of that territory walk with me please he was created in the image of God meaning he did not qualify to live on earth he only qualified to live where God is based on the law of territory because he was made of God's material spirit light are we together now but now God wanted that man to rule on earth that means he must be made of the substance to be compatible with his ecosystem are you are we together now so leaving man to roam around was not profiting god neither was it helping to advance his cause because man needed a body is a law so god made adam from the dust now when the bible says the dust it does not mean it is only sand that was used to make man it's a generic statement all the elements within the ecosystem of man are in man oh boy hold on it was not just sand water was involved this is why there is a similitude between what is in man 70 percent of man is water just like 70 percent of earth is water are we together now please understand this 
the bones of man were made in the similitude of rocks that's why they don't they don't rot and they can last for years just like rocks <laughs> the eyes of man was made in the similitude of water that's why even witches try to use water to see there is something they know i'm not yet teaching glorifying satan but i'm just showing you what discussing you you called me to talk about the realm of the spirit listen listen carefully authority in this kingdom is based on light remember and so god is bringing us to a point of spiritual illumination that by the time you share the grace you will run home and say now i found the key i no longer can fear the fears that brought me here then you will know that there are a class of spirits called rulers of darkness their dominion starts when ignorance is there i'm not just giving you some theological gibberish i'm guiding your understanding so that we can get to a common ground the creation of man why did god take the time to meticulously give details every time god gives details it's not for nothing study it so man was made from the dust of the earth and the spirit was put in man but there was still a problem because the spirit is not compatible with the body so there was no system of coexistence are we together now and he had to devise an interface called the mind that would give man the privilege of the duality of realms understand this now because he had to either be earthly or he had to be of heaven but god wanted both so he had to create something in man that became the connection point so that every man by default had the advantage of interacting with the realm of the spirit and the physical realm are we together so on that ground god could come to man in the cool of the day and man would not be lost are we together now on that ground he could still speak to cain where is your brother and cain could reply him am i my brother's keeper he was hearing so this man that god built is compatible in this realm on legal basis and in the realm of the spirit he also has that compatibility now this construction disturbed satan because he was watching he was already there the bible calls him that old serpent remember old age and so he was watching the the makeup of man that's why the psalmist said when i consider these things what is in man what did you what did you build so every man has the ability born again or not but based on your makeup to interact with the realm of the spirit and to interact with this realm and i will tell you why i will tell you why because god designed this realm the earth to not live without the assistance of the realm of the spirit he created this realm to be so vulnerable that it will ever depend on the realm of the spirit for its function and so if he stops man from interacting with the realm of the spirit that man will not be effective here are you are we together now so for normal function on earth the earth has to depend on the realm of the spirit like a baby depending on the mother for breast milk the mother being the realm of the spirit when satan came to tempt man satan god's goal was that man by eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now we're not going into that all that theological talk but just believe it to be a tree like you know are we together now by eating of that tree the man was supposed to continue living in that state because the tree is supposed to make you live continuously in that state that was why when man violated god's principles he stopped him because had he eaten of that tree salvation would not be possible again he would have to live in that fallen state forever are we bible students everything i'm saying is in your bible so we have man who has an advantage of the realm of the spirit and the physical realm 
so it is not unusual for you to go to bed in the night and yet you are in the room and yet you are somewhere else you call it a dream and you've never been afraid of it are we together now it's not unusual if your child comes and says daddy yesterday i i was somewhere and yet that somewhere you are to go there physically in two weeks time and yet this baby was there i hope you know that's not thoughts he was not thinking you were really there so the advantage of the realm of the spirit can take you to the past and the future it can take you to the past to correct what is there it can take you to the future to prepare you while you come this this these are these are systems of advantage that god built in man we are not just studying this just for the sake of it this is where the victory of the saints lie the average believer does not know that this realm is as helpless as it looks if the realm of the spirit does not come to assist it are we together so man is created in the image and the likeness of god and then we see man functioning he looks at the animals the bible says he named them he didn't call lion lion it's science that called lion lion he gave lion its identity that's what it means to name to name does not mean to give it a no it means describe how it should function it was not god that made it that way it was man taking advantage of the mind of christ he could tap god didn't need to do it he had access to the mind of christ and he could reproduce what god would have done if he were there this is what dominion is about so when the bible says adam named the animals he didn't just give them physical names to call no god watched a creature he had built now taking advantage of the realm of the spirit to supply intelligence and manifesting it in the physical realm here and now now somewhere along the line that bridge and that advantage was broken and man began to struggle that was the beginning of experiment hoping to work things out in a bit to conjure things that can provide an advantage here on earth so when jesus came he now began to put things in order when he was teaching them what we call the beatitudes he got to a prayer that we know to be the lord's prayer and he said let it be done in earth as it is in heaven he's restoring the order and the pattern that it is always from the realm of the spirit to the physical realm not from the physical realm to the realm of the spirit realities that are fashioned if it ever appears in this realm it is because it exists then the bible gives us the advantage of studying the book of job and it tells us that once upon a time the sons of god were before god where in the realm of the spirit again and satan was there and had a discussion about job and came to afflict job job was quietly minding his business on earth all of a sudden tragedy began to strike why because it was finished in the realm of the spirit a discussion had happened the conclusion was over the earth was merely an instrument of execution are we together now that means the trouble does not just come uh -uh. it is prepared and calculated and your ignorance becomes your approval for it to come because light gives you the power to participate in that decision making process so that what is executed in your life here on earth is something that you participated in hold on let me not rush ahead of myself because this is where you will see the value of the word of god this thing we call the word of god you will know what the word of god does in the realm of the spirit the bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made why is the word of god so powerful so job is sitting and catastrophe strikes and several other things begin to happen to him and job summoned god and god began to talk to him and job got a big secret in chapter 42 he began to interact with the realm of the spirit praying for his friends and things began to change in his life physically 
to the point that the Bible says the people who left him came back and they didn't just come back they brought money they were always there brothers and sisters I don't know how to tell you this but nothing just happens pastor does not just become a great man just by luck no you ask him sincerely he will tell you there were things and laws that were obeyed from the realm of the spirit when do you know the bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain if he was not slain from the foundations of the earth he would not there is nothing that can happen in this realm without its manifestation this realm is only an instrument of execution what you call creation is only creation from this realm from the realm of the spirit it is mere transportation of spiritual realities that are finished let me repeat myself that what you call creation is only a word we invented to help ourselves understand what is happening here but in the realm of the spirit there's no such thing as creation all things exist including your tomorrow that your tomorrow is already a realm of the, a reality but your tomorrow does not yet have the things you need it is now your responsibility to put in it like a movie director editing out the things that do not line up with scripture let's pray let's pray for one minute let's pray in the spirit lord open my eyes Salabarusa segede balakato sabrande gedi alahasa. Branto zozubas kede baratu salabrande gedas. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please sit down. In John chapter four and verse twenty-four. Jesus is having a discussion with a woman by the well. Jesus now, the son of the living God. Don't forget all the things that I've been saying. The word pastor was locked up in the realm of the spirit. And a decision came about the salvation of men. But that word could not come to the earth as the word. He will violate the law of territory. So the word had to become flesh. So the, the search was to look for the woman that can now make that word become flesh. Are you seeing that? And when the word became flesh, he could now be born in this realm. So it became legitimate. God is not a man. God became a man. If you say God is a man, every man was created. Either by birth or original creation. So God is not a man. He only became a man. When you say God is a man, who created him? He's the creator himself. God is not a man. He became a man for the sake of men. Are we together now? So now Jesus is discussing with her. Please give it to us. Let's find somewhere to pray tonight. He says, God is spirit. This is a very powerful information. Already he tells you that this God you so love is spirit. What does that tell you? That means... If you want to do any kind of business with God, you have to find a way of capturing this knowledge that God is spirit. That means it will require your spirit being alive to be able to interact with this God. God is spirit and that those who worship him must not may. If at all you are interested in this God, understand that number one he is spirit number two if you must worship him you must worship him in spirit and then in truth so god is spirit this is the first information for us to know god is spirit god is spirit the second information i wrote down here is that the realm of the spirit is a real realm with several dimensions the realm of the spirit is a real realm. The realm of the spirit is not heaven. If you are caught up in the realm of the spirit, you think you are in another country. That's when you find out that there are beings, there are activities that happen. It's not a lie. This is in the Bible. We have this idea that once you are not in this realm, you are in heaven. No. 
once you are not in this realm you are in another dimension of spiritual reality with beings with angels with demons and the law is such that whoever can access the realm of the spirit whether demonically or spiritually already has an advantage over this realm please understand that the mere fact that by whatever means you can access the realm of the spirit already you are at a position of advantage ah. are we together so the realm of the spirit is dimensional but then the bible says heaven is his throne the heaven of heavens is his throne then the earth has he made his footstool so in interacting with god we have to realize that it is not just randomly the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit activates other dimensions and other possibilities that we cannot comprehend for instance in the realm of the spirit i don't have to talk to you to understand in this realm we are limited by speech and whether visual or non-visual communications many of the things that we operate in this realm were a borrowed borrowed attributes from the realm of the spirit and sometimes these demon spirits come to people in the name of science and they they fraternize and get into this is the price of being in babylon that these spirits come and come into a covenant with you oh yes they have fraternized with people to be wealthy read your bible they have fraternized with people to be great so they come up with ideas and insight and concepts you know an average human being should not have this yet they do not give glory to god because that's the condition the spirits come to help you because they know in any case you will find help so before you find god they come as a cheap assistance fraternize with us and we will do something in your life that has not been done in any family fraternize with us and we have a way to walk you around to win an oil and gas contract and when you sit down and look at the i mean look how satan marketed this to jesus jesus he came to jesus just bow to me don't go this route bow to me and i will give you this thing i can make it easy for you that means every man there is a threshold level of growth you cannot rise beyond in the strength of the flesh that if you ever find a man on earth rise beyond that level whether a preacher whether a herbalist whether a businessman whether you are aware or not the realm of the spirit your uncommon result is already a report card that you and his spirit has had a discussion now whether that spirit is of god or not we investigate it but let it be known that on this earth you cannot rise beyond certain dimensions no men are not given that strength once upon a time i spoke with a few people who were minors and they told me that do i know that this gold is a living thing that's what they were telling me the traditional people they said if you annoy it it can move away move away physically on the earth you call it a mineral and it's listening to you and it punishes you by moving away oh may god deliver our generation from ignorance was the oil not hearing the conversation between the prophet and the woman when she was saying there was nothing the oil was listening i'm in your room as an instrument of your breakthrough yet you are calling me nothing and the oil was listening to the conversation too and the prophet said don't be ignorant go and borrow vessels turn that oil and see what it can do what does it mean to grow does it not mean to increase and this is a characteristic of living things you went to school that means while you sit down and begin to speak ill about your destiny believing you are alone you do not know that this wind is a living thing and that the wind was designed to be a messenger it's in your bible that it is a messenger that can take your words and command your destiny to obey what you said 
Now it is on the strength of this you will now understand why pastors say be careful what you say you know speak this is not just some motivation it's a word of caution that you are programming realities to your detriment or otherwise every day I'm going ahead of myself already but I needed us to come to this realization sincerely you won't believe that I've not even started teaching this is just a foundation to help us really understand this whole thing otherwise what I'm going to say will not make sense to us so when Jesus walked upon the earth because he was now a man he could interact with the father and then he could interact with this realm are we together now he created a system of relationship to help him interact with his fellow people but then when it was night or evening he would go somewhere and begin to do something that the bible got its name as prayer what is prayer why did jesus pray does god pray why would god pray what is he asking well when god becomes a man all men pray Luke 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men when you are not a man don't read that scripture it doesn't concern you but for as long as you are a man these are not just scriptures these are guidelines for dominion that because of this advantage listen because you are not just a man there has to be a system of contact with the realm of the spirit where you draw strength light inspiration and that if you focus on this realm alone you are starving another dimension of you and the implication is that the realm of the spirit will superimpose over your life and your destiny sit down So Jesus, there is no record that God prayed in heaven. No, he speaks. He does not pray. But the moment he came to this realm, for him to remain effective, even as God, who had become a man, he needed to go through. That's why the Bible calls him the pattern man. He was showing you how to live in this realm. The day you become a spirit, forget about prayer. But now that you are a man, he's saying that do not ignore what keeps you in touch with the realm of the spirit. The devil attacking your prayer life is not just to get you to backslide. That's, that's too small a motivation for him to disturb you. No. He seeks to disconnect you from anything. Let me tell you this. Satan's obsession is to see that by any means, he brings you to a point where your entire focus is on the three-dimensional realm. Because he knows the moment the consciousness of the realm beyond here is there, your victory remains intact. Thanks be to God. The Bible says, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings where in heavenly places but you don't need them there so how do you transport them here forever oh lord your word is settled where not on earth it's not settled on earth oh. it's settled only in heaven you have to find the technology that makes it settled in your life Now, please listen to me I'll find somewhere I promise that we're not going to stay long so we'll pray so God created man there's no instruction for animals to pray dogs cats no your prayer should cover them what do you think being the head of God's creation implies that everything under you draws strength from you just like you draw strength from the authority higher than you why should the animals pray when there are men it is your prayer that covers them so when you see something wrong with creation it is a report card that you are not in touch with the realm of the spirit
the duality of realms I have a body that helps me to execute the decisions that are finished with my spirit the body does not decide the body only executes the body has never been part of any decision it has always been the spirit the body is merely an executor and when this body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold the spirit can no longer stay it will leave that's why God gives you the responsibility of doing something to this this house he supplies the wisdom and he says look your spirit is at the mercy of the health of this vessel now seeing then that everything that manifests it is simply a transportation of what is in the realm of the spirit it means pastor that if the saints are to walk in light if the saints are to walk in victory if the reality of the finished work of Christ is to be made manifest in the life of the saints then they must understand the spiritual system that has been designed to not only create realities but transport those realities and edit them by the spirit and make them manifest here and now so that our lives can now be a true representation of the victory that Jesus Christ died to produce the formula is let it be done in earth not on earth in earth the first earth being you not the ground let it be done in earth Joshua Selman that earth then your territory as it is in heaven is, is, is someone learning something now now listen in one minute I'd like you to just look at everything around your life that you think cannot change or you think is overwhelming you I want you to know that that thing was finished in the realm of the spirit and it was merely transported with your permission now you may not believe that but it is true ignorance is authorization just like faith is why the apostle cried that the word of Christ would dwell in us richly Colossians 3 16 in all wisdom are you getting what I'm saying this, this is powerful that the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm is a reality I learned the realm of the spirit members don't just come to church no finances doesn't just come to you because you are in need no a job does not just come precious people of Portacot what God said should come to you you will see it in dreams and it will remain in dreams till you go to heaven you have a responsibility this illusion that you cross your legs and hope that good things happen that's a risky bet on your destiny Jesus kept prophesying I will go to the cross but after three days I'm coming if he didn't speak you will be surprised when he will oh yes don't we're not getting into words yet that will be for tomorrow's service you will see the value of what the Bible calls the logos of God what role does it play in the realm of the spirit why did Jesus have to prophesy his resurrection before he died if he died without prophesying you will learn that when there is no word, there is no execution no other person told him I wish you well die and resurrect no if he did not leave that word waiting for him I told you <laughs> oh dear so for many of you the prayer and the prophecy of your mother waited for you and while you were 23 24 that prayer caused the angels to lead you to house on the rock you thought you were just coming no you were coming because there was a word hanging words don't die don't you know that Job said in six things shall he deliver us one of it is the scourging tongues of men that a man can use his tongue like a whip 
and speak to you the moment jesus was born sir they took him straight to two priests one simeon the prophet the other was anna and the first thing that happened to him was that words were spoken over his life and after that they say you can go and play with your friends whatever else they say is too late the most important thing is that this programming is complete so when we dedicate children in church it's not just a ceremony for religion we are going ahead of the system to send a word and say word wait for his 25 years wait for the 30 years and insist that the purposes of god listen when i learned the futility of the physical realm outside of the assistance of the spirit and the realm of the spirit i stopped wasting my time when david looked at goliath he just wanted to find out what backs you when he found out goliath was dead since he said oh, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> because everybody without a spirit is dead james 2 26 your business is a body where is the spirit that backs it your job is a body where is the spirit that backs it your church is a body where is the spirit that backs it your marriage is a body where is the spirit that backs it it says a body without a spirit believe me brothers and sisters is dead so you can sit down in your house knowing that you have an advantage of the duality of realms that there is a boss who has insisted that for as long as you name the name of christ i will victimize you fighting physically is an insult to you the advantage of your duality no you can go back home and activate priesthood the privilege of your duality to understand that that man is only a man he has a spirit so the real business is with the spirit don't ever let physical things threaten scare or waste your time doing things physically first and even alone is one of the surest ways of wasting your time you carry a physical certificate and you are going around looking for physical jobs i congratulate you but not in this wicked world but now you can carry that physical certificate attach a spirit to it and send it and now you watch how helpless this realm is now forgive me i don't mean to double into demonic things and all of that but do you know that our parents used to tell us pastor that herbalists will conjure something and will tell you this politician he will favor you and as at the time they are doing it the man is saying over my dead body the physical realm boasting and yet in the realm of the spirit that man has been compelled to bless you after all that talk and that argument by himself that's what happened to pharaoh that he let the egyptians go it was like a charm because when they left he said come what happened pursue them they took our gold that means when the grace for favor is on you from the realm of the spirit it can compel men as though under the influence of a charm it is true if jesus did not have that grace you will be surprised what will happen to him to tell someone lose someone's donkey and bring it for my program and if they ask you say the master has me about jesus So you find out that negative things are happening around your family every time money comes everybody becomes sick till the money goes down just calling a family meeting is not a way of solving it you go back at least for tonight i am a spirit body i'm not going to be deceived by what is happening Shatakata, Rekotastia. you need to get into that decision room that boardroom in the spirit what is going on over my destiny within that boardroom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm the bible says while men slept 
another farmer who was waiting for them to sleep do not believe you are the only farmer over your destiny there is a devil waiting there to put seed so you go to bed and reap a harvest you can't remember sowing no i can't reap what i did not participate in this it's against the law of god i should reap what i sow ah but do you not know that your ignorance is also a farmer it can sow ignorance can sow ephesians 4 and verse 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them that ignorance can alienate you please hear me we are going to pray that it be done in earth as it is in heaven so god created me i'm not just an engineer or a doctor don't be deceived by the geography of your assignment don't be deceived by male or female all those things do not matter in the realm of the spirit God separated a man to become male and female simply because he wanted to act out a dimension of his love I hope you know both male and female are dimensions of God he separated them to achieve two reasons one procreation so that they will fill the earth but number two so that they will be the clearest example of the relationship between God and man so if you don't study women there is a dimension of God you will never know no wonder both them and the Holy Ghost are called helpers I deserve dinner for this good listen to me listen to me I didn't come from a region where physically speaking there was any advantage as far as ministry is concerned sincerely but I knew that living my life to chance I will be a frustrated man of God and one day you have to ask me and say he didn't really call you brothers and sisters I came to show you something tonight I know you have been praying but remember the speaking is only when light comes when you just speak because you heard someone speak help that guy under the anointing please your speaking makes no sound in the realm of the spirit until light because it is in his light that we see light and when we now see that light then we can speak we can command i am not just a man i look like a man you see a man but this is only a host the spirit man has exclusive contact with the realm of the spirit where realities are stored this is a warehouse of possibilities and by this agency called prayer the bible gives us the privilege to select the possibilities we want to see manifest prayer is many things among them the opportunity that god gives you to go to the warehouse yourself but who shall ascend i will say and then he came down to you the word of god is his possibilities coming down to you so that there's no more complaint i cannot go to heaven to find out what is there this bible is a compendium of god's commitments to you that if you find any truth there god is committed the word of god is the boundary of his commitment to the believer that is not all he can do but that is all he has defined he cannot come to you beyond the boundary of scripture so i find here that i am the head and not the tail i find here that i am above and not beneath but i'm the only one reading it the person looking at me is not reading it and he's not even interested it is left for me to activate the possibilities that compel them to do what the word of god has said 
and one of the key for tonight is prayer that prayer is not just an activity of exerting effort so that you will feel spiritual uh -uh. prayer is not just a way of trying to manage guilt of feeling like you are not being serious with God the urgency is more than that that every time you pray many things happen one of it is you give an opportunity for the Holy Ghost to search the mind of the Father and when he searches the minds of the father he will open the file where the archives of your destiny is and because you have now been joined to him that he that is joined to the spirit is one are we bible people so the holy spirit can come and begin to reveal to you the things that pertain to your destiny you are in need of spiritual power because you need it in ministry and while you pray the Holy Ghost he knows where the power is stored it is in his office and he will draw that power and bring that power on a mortal man you were born of a woman with no capacity for supernatural things but you now engage a mystery that turns you into a sign and a wonder do you know you can change your job change your boss change the outcome in your life the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen so we can look at things unseen they are unseen not unreal unseen for the things that are seen are temporal you went to school temporal means subject to change under a certain condition not every condition rejoice not over me i have found a key that changes my outcomes so while i may look like a weak helpless person with no helper i know how to call them calling them physically is a burden they don't even know they are my helpers so i go to that place where my spirit can make contact with the father and then from that light i declare those who have been apportioned to help my destiny while i'm praying the holy ghost goes around port Harcourt looking for them because he's called the father of spirits every spirit is under his authority listen please hear me Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? One of the major assignment of angels is for that kind of childishness. Angels begin to work when you are serious about programming your destiny. Their assignment is to make happen, execute what God said. They execute what you have believed that God said. I came here tonight to do two things one to open you up to the fact that you are not just a body please find a way of understanding this you are not just a body waiting for situations and circumstances or waiting for a preacher to pray for you there is a place for that but that you are you are shortchanging the advantage of your duality you are not taking advantage of it that god invested this strategy in man so that every time the earth wants to fail you you compel it to obey you can i tell you this the earth has never been disobedient it was only designed to respond to certain sounds there was something noah did and he stood close to his ark and all the animals started coming Noah never went to look for them if you know that thing whatever he did you too you can stand and begin <laughs> listen hold on 
the animals did not come one by one they came two by two so that there will be continuity of that result male and female to ensure that that result reproduces because when it happens only once it is not favor no that's breakthrough the proof that is favor is that it is consistent regardless of the human participators so whether you are in lagos or abuja or portacot the outcome should be the same you will think i'm boasting i am not human beings are simply actors the script writer is you so don't tell me it's because i'm staying here nobody wants to help me in portacot because i was not born here is the obvious answer not the right one when i found this i knew i found my way so the advantage of participating with the realm of the spirit in prayer can provide me an advantage to remedy what my background see it is based on this that the bible says for we know the rest may not know because they don't know what we are made of but the holy spirit has educated us enough to know for we know that all things work together they may not start together but eventually work together the pain should not be in the equation but since it has now come there is still a way of making it useful in the oh, this is god for you one of the things that makes a chef a chef is the ability to use anything to make sense are we are we together now yes god is like that so what should not have been in the equation if it does come he says no problem it's all right there is still a technology in my wisdom that i can still work it out to make sure that it becomes for your good why because you love the lord and you are the called according to his purposes so tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end cycles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh she's supposed to have received a restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night 
wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska makapranda kabato seketeba ekros kebarush kabaranta i speak favor in the name of jesus i am bula hefziba the delight of the lord when you are done on monday morning dress well pick your file go to the office already angels are there because you sent them already the holy ghost is there find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds i've sown hallelujah please give me five minutes and we're done with this service we're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here number one that if at all any chain followed you here except god is not god here at house on the rock potakot that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the god that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock through faith we understand that the worlds were made framed by the word of god a 
Rakata Parakatosa Tabraka Tascada Balata. Pray. You are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Skevereto Shalata Braska Tabarikata. Embreto Sopon Sateneca Tepa. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Arise, shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen. Let me teach you something while praying. Complaining and blaming things is one of the ways we transfer responsibility and our authority in the realm of the spirit. When God came to Adam, pastor, he said, Adam, where art thou? He said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? God never spoke to the woman until God, Adam, gave him permission. He said, the woman. And God didn't talk to him again. He went to the woman. Woman, what is this that you have done? The serpent, she transferred authority. The serpent kept quiet. That's why he became the Lord of the cosmos. That's why when Jesus also became sin, when they called him, he kept quiet. Because had he spoken, he would transfer authority. The serpent, Satan, became the god of this world by this simple mystery of using words. I gave you dominion and now you say it is the woman. Now I leave you and I go to the woman. What happened? If the woman kept quiet, she would have become head over man immediately. But the woman said the serpent and the serpent did not blame anybody. So he became the god of this world until Jesus came. His silence was a mystery of restoring dominion. And now that he's victorious, let the redeemed of the Lord, let the healed of the Lord, let the lifted of the Lord, let the anointed of the Lord. Can you lift your voice and begin to say so? Say so. Say so. Kabarapo Shalata. Say so. Say so over your health. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the powerful of the Lord say so. Shabanda kaparus kaparita shalata sikata Embreketos kaparito shandyata hasa Hallelujah 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 Praise the name of the Lord Now listen One of the advantages Of prayer is dominion over time real dominion is not dominion over things it is dominion over time whoever exerts dominion over time is a priest indeed are we together yes. the one thing we all have is time and when the devil wants to destroy your destiny because it is a function of time it will cause your time to just be wasted or delayed the disciples had gone six hours ahead of Jesus and Jesus stayed back knowing he was already delayed he began to pray 
and the moment he was praying when he was done he got up and started walking on water within a few moments he had caught up with them in the next one minute someone is going to be accelerating in the spirit as you pray lift your voice in one minute and declare that you gain time time has been lost through ignorance time has been lost through mistakes time has been lost through wrong associations but lord i place a demand is someone praying over time i misuse january i misuse february i misuse march i misuse april i misuse may i misuse june july august september october but lord i declare put eight months in two months eight months in two months in the name of jesus the christ of god hallelujah please hear me now i know that i plead with pastor to just say this i want to encourage you whatever you will do to be here tomorrow there is a prayer and there are impartations that i want to release upon your life tomorrow make that sacrifice bring your loved ones this is not just a house on the rock meeting this is only part a quite honestly I, I didn't even start talking about what i wanted to talk about i will be teaching you the laws of the spirit realm that when you possess these realities you will play life like a chess it is true let me pray for you tonight in the name of jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor i speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i declare that it leaves your life now and forever help those under the anointing there every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of jesus i speak to that door a father be open be open be open my god please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names i compel them into your hands now tonight in the name of jesus a supernatural quickening upon your mind receive that grace in the name of jesus that as you sleep tonight we activate visions and dreams revealing the matters of destiny in the name of jesus christ and can i speak over someone's life that before the sun rises tomorrow you would have returned with a fearful testimony i say this from the depth of my spirit every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the bible says as they went the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight i speak to you in the name of jesus christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar hallelujah praise the lord so please by the grace of god pay whatever price you will pay to be here tomorrow and receive that grace for the sake of your life for the sake of your destiny for the sake of your loved ones pastor thank you thank you that you cannot deal with him in the flesh 
you will have to be spiritual and your spirit would have to be alive to relate with God and we did agree that the realm of the spirit is dimensional that there are planes and there are dimensions in the realm of the spirit I did say yesterday that the physical realm is only a child that was birthed by and from the realm of the spirit this is very important that everything you see in the physical world came from the realm of the spirit and that means to alter anything from this realm you will have to reach down from the realm where it came from to alter realities and that the bible tells us that nothing in this realm is permanent it's a very hopeful revelation so that whatever you do not like there is a possibility of reaching into the realm of the spirit to make adjustments there and deliver what you have adjusted to this realm here and now this is where the dominion of the saints lie in their ability to alter realities and compel them to look like the Christ are we together and um, we examine very briefly prayer as one of the keys that helps us to maximize our dual nature that prayer is one of the provisions that was made available to the saints by which we can tap into realities from the realm of the spirit um, it's a very vast subject sad i didn't do justice to it because prayer is a broad subject that can take us weeks to really cover the dimensions that are captured there in prayer prayer does many things brings transformation access fellowship we tap into the wisdom of god the bible says we speak this wisdom among them that are mature the hidden wisdom that the princes of this world did not did not know then um and so on and so forth so i want to start this morning by challenging the fact that if we continue to walk in the illusion that things will just happen in our lives just because god is in heaven and he should take responsibility over the outcome of our lives our experiences in this kingdom would be barren and frustrating are we together yes i have respectfully challenged that thought for many years in the body of christ that the believer has a participatory role to play as far as seeing the manifestation of the kingdom the power and the glory of god is concerned and i pray that god will help us this morning the realm of the spirit operates by spiritual laws job 38 and verse 33 please pay attention the realm of the spirit operates by spiritual laws it says please give us king james if we can have it do you know the ordinances of heaven knowest thou the ordinances of heaven this was job when the lord came to him in response to his predicament he was so frustrated couldn't understand what was happening in his life and the bible says he summoned god and when god came they began to discuss the mysteries of this realm and the lord asked job a question he said do you know the ordinances of heaven question one then if you do know them can thou set the dominion thereof in the earth do you know by what laws heaven governs itself do you know why darkness does not prevail in heaven do you know why god does not have to carry a mobile throne moving around heaven to judge obedience yes disobedience is judged immediately or to judge disobedience he does not have to move around supervising the angels to see that they are not rebels and yet whatever looks like rebellion is judged immediately by what mystery does that happen that in heaven there is no night there is no morning by what mystery does that happen and it says they are called the ordinances of heaven that means this heaven that you see is regulated by laws and 
then he says if you know those laws can you set their dominion can you reproduce those laws in the earth because if you can then your earth will look like heaven are we together now so there are spiritual laws people do not just rise in this kingdom people do not just become wealthy people do not just become powerful people do not just become influential no a generation does not just love people there's no such thing as luck all that is just nonsense these are exact spiritual laws that can be understood and i pray in the name of jesus that as we examine one or two of these laws that the lord will grant you access to these keys and that as you engage them your life will be nothing short of a wonder amen and amen are we in agreement laws of the spirit number one the law of faith these are the laws that activate the realm of the spirit the supernatural we must be taught how to participate with the realm of the spirit the law of faith numbers chapter 23 please and verse 19 when we have it projected i'd like us to read it together numbers 23 and verse 19 numbers 23 and verse 19 ready read please god is not a man stop remember we discussed this yesterday that god became a man god is not a man if you say god is not a man it means he must submit to his creator all men submit to their creator so if you say god is a man the person you should worship is not him because he has become a creature hallelujah so god is not a man that he should lie this is an information about men god is taking away shock from your life already that when you meet men this possibility exists he didn't say bad men god is not a man that means in the character of every man is a tendency to lie now we're discussing faith please follow me god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hath he said and shall he not do or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good this is a very powerful information about god that god is not a man that he should lie that means every time you hear god speak this revelation should be at the back of your mind that the one speaking is not joking this is an attestation of god's integrity are we together now god is not a man he does not have the possibility of lying. let me tell you the bible did not say that he cannot lie if god by mistake calls me a woman i will change immediately so lying is getting something wrong that ability is not in him he can't say this is light and then it does not become light so whether it's a mistake or whatever it is when he says it it will become what he said so the possibility of saying something and seeing another thing is not in god that's what the bible is saying so if he calls your pain joy it changes immediately if he calls your tomorrow blessed that tomorrow has to become blessed because god has spoken this is called integrity the character of being consistent are we together god is not a man that he should lie hebrews 11 and verse 6 this is the second information about god we're teaching faith this morning as a law that activates the supernatural the bible says but without faith outside of faith it is impossible to please him why because of this information that whoever comes to god must believe that he exists and then number two that he has a name called a rewarder it's not what he does it's who he is that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him in other words don't come to god hoping you will get something don't come to god hoping he may give me there is a level of certainty and confidence that god is called a rewarder so every time i come the proof that i met him is that i never go back empty 
he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him not a giver a rewarder a rewarder means he gives you what you seek a giver means he gives what he has a rewarder the bible says he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you know many people in church pastor teach about faith we teach a lot about faith and um, we do our best to communicate what we know to be faith but our results clearly show that many people do not understand the subject of faith because for many believers respectfully speaking our boundary of the understanding of faith is just declaring and hoping that we'll see no that is that is a very minute part of the equation of faith the foundation of bible faith is revelation not revelation about your situation revelation about the god who will be the deliverer of that promise before you trust a man if i tell you to come and collect a hundred dollar bill your first assignment is not to come your first assignment is to vet my integrity you have to check whether i have the capacity so there are two things listen please faith in god is based on two qualities of god not all qualities of god there are just two qualities of god that are required as far as faith is concerned number one his integrity please write it down number two his ability believing god is based on the awareness of his integrity and then number two his ability ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 the bible says now unto him who is able so it settles it once and for all that god is able there is never a problem with his ability he is able to do the bible says able to do not just able to speak there are men who are able to speak i can help you but they are not able to do so the bible says that god is able to do and then he says exceeding abundantly even above all we ask now the fearful part is above all we think you know how vast your mind is your mind can think dimensions that will surprise you and the bible says that is it does not scare god he has the ability to allow your mind stretch itself and it says is this all you can think i am still god above it so when your requests don't seem to come it is not an issue of god's ability because sometimes you see we look at the magnitude of that which we desire god to deliver to us and um sometimes out of pity we say god okay it looks like you can't go this far okay so i come down to your level and god says the problem is never my ability so two things the integrity of god god does not lie he can be trusted number two god is el shaddai you know what that means the multi-breasted one he sustains the power to make everything that needs to be captured in your life for a fruitful christian life available to you this is the foundation of bible faith just believing god arbitrarily does not bring faith you have to vet his integrity the bible is a compendium of god's integrity his dealings with men through several dispensations to the end that we can study and see the consistency that he is believable that you can trust him the bible archives men and women who trusted god in time past now faith is hebrews 11 says the substance of things hoped for it calls it the evidence of things not seen it says for by it the elders obtained the elders obtained the elders obtained a good report it says through faith we understand that the cosmos the walls were framed by the word of god then it begins to list all of these exploits that were done by faith if you are going to partner with the realm of the spirit to produce possibilities in this life you will have to understand the law of faith there are no guarantees in life your guarantee is the integrity of the one who sent you we live in a world where we are obsessed with guarantees you have to sign that you will be there for me 
you have to sign that you will not fail me you have to sign that our discussion will not change eventually unfortunately this world does not have guarantees your guarantee is the integrity of the one who sits upon the throne so he can send you and say go to us and not tell you what to do there and yet you go knowing that when you arrive there he will speak we are weak because we do not trust god abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest so don't tell me you love him i already know take him there and offer him upon a mount that i will show you you've not shown me the mountain just start moving when you get there i will tell you bible says if ye be the children of abraham then you will do the works of abraham trust in god I believe God are we together now so revelation now the end of your revelation about God should produce something in you the Bible calls persuasion please say after me persuasion we're defining the faith equation now that revelation leads to conviction or persuasion it was the apostle that said for I know whom I have believed he said and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day conviction what is conviction your depth of persuasion your unbendedness I know he will do it I know he will do it if he said I will lift you this year I know he will do it I take my eyes away from the temporary setbacks because I know he will do it conviction conviction supplies your staying power when the situations refuse to change conviction so you 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 can say no i know this god the reason why we vacillate in our trust and our convictions is because we have not had an encounter with the integrity and the ability of god you know the way god speaks pastor he does not speak like he's talking to men he speaks to men like he's talking to himself this is why it's very frustrating to hear god many people like to hear god but if you really hear god you will wish you didn't hear him so you will have an excuse to just live your life because hearing god has implications it would demand a responsibility on your part that you will need grace for for instance god will not say go and build that house god will say when it's complete let me know this is how God speaks. He does not talk to men like he's talking to men. He talks to men like he's talking to himself. So he will talk as if there is no process in the entire thing. Now you are crying over a bill of one billion naira, two billion naira, and God talks to you and never talks about the money. He says, ensure the house has space for children ensure it has a mission arm and you are saying lord this is not the issue we have architects in portacourt and god never talks about where the weakness is he expects you to trust him enough if ye being evil there is a name god is called abba abba means source it means sustainer it also means defender and the character of fatherhood according to God's teaching is giving if ye being evil know how to give so a father who does not give is evil are we together now I'm saying this because there are many of us who are wondering how will my destiny be built the dreams that I have the visions that I have are mighty they are enormous and you begin to stress yourself putting a burden on your uncle he was not designed to supply and get you are getting angry at people everywhere listen to me save yourself that stress there is a God in heaven who has integrity and ability every miracle looks impossible till it happens whether you need five naira or five million is still faith that will produce it so in the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter whether what you have whether you reduce it or increase it it makes no difference it is still faith that will bring it please understand what i'm sharing with you this morning and then you will no longer be afraid of the future every man you see whose life has become enviable today had no guarantees anywhere 
there was no bank no uncle no nothing no men went like madmen at the instance of the the word of the lord men went to virgin lands that they did not know anything about Can you believe God enough? Apostle, I came to Port Harcourt. It's not my fault. I had a dream. God said, come here. Now I'm here. And look what God is making out of my life. We're talking God, the creator of the ends of the earth. The one who has said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. There are attributes of God that when you know, the devil cannot speak to you again. The devil manipulates your gaps in your understanding of God and he plants seeds based on attributes of God you do not know. The prodigal son knew something about his father. That no matter what it is, I know that my father loves me. And he said, I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven and I am not worthy to be called your son. But take me as one of your servants. Smart man. He knew the father will never take him as a servant. It's just a diplomatic way of saying, I'm sorry. There is something about God that if and when you know, even when you have a dream that negates it, oh dear, I wish I had time. I hope you know that the realm of the spirit cannot be made manifest until you receive and agree with whatever is there including your dream if i have a dream today for instance and i see myself maybe losing out in life or failing i can get up believing it has happened no the dream is seeking for your permission listen listen at the expense of your eternal salvation god still seeks for your permission to come into a life he created what else should not seek for your permission to come you know the way the devil has made us believe is like he has the ability to veto anything no he's a master of the sense realm he knows how to manipulate spiritual realities if god can be polite enough to knock at the door of your heart and wait till you open it then that dream can wait then that oppression can wait they all knock you just don't know they are knocking they knock by acting they are in your life already so your fear allows them to come in goodness how did we get here let's go back to what we're discussing faith are you blessed this morning already so conviction everybody say conviction yes you need conviction i believe god i believe god i know he said this now watch this the next step you take when you are convicted please understand this the end of conviction in fact is knowing the participatory role you have to play in actualizing that spiritual reality now please wake up if you're sleeping because this is where believers have been cheated for many years they think all it takes to the equation of faith is to believe god and that's it you believe god well done but you will never see it manifest there is always a participation between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm to get anything transported from the realm of the spirit to this realm please never forget it is not all up to god and it is not all up to you deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day to do and observe all that i command you this day that you shall be exalted above um you know high above the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you joshua 1 verse 8 this book of the law it says shall not depart from out of thy mouth it says but thou shalt meditate during day and night that thou mayest observe to do to do to do not just to say faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what he commands that is attached to the promise for instance the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. Claiming the promises of God and claiming you are blessed without understanding the participatory role will only be you mocking yourself. Are we together? 
every dimension of possibility we seek to transfer from the realm of the spirit has exact conditions the assignment of the spirit of revelation is to open you up to the dimensions the requisite level of obedience you need to know what to do good master when poor people came to jesus they said help us when wealthy people came they said good master what should i do to be saved they knew that it, it there has to be responsibility attached good master what should i do there, there has to be a posture that i take are we blessed apostle i desire restoration in my life there is a provision restoration restoration in the bible has always been based on discerning the prophetic voice that you need to approach to speak to you it is the prophetic that controls restoration according to scripture your assignment is to locate the prophet sent not the prophet available the prophet sent there are words that are spoken there are words that are sent the word that delivers is the one sent he sent forth his word not spoke forth his word there were many widows in Zarephath, the Bible says. So Elijah passed some and greeted them and they greeted him back because he was not sent to them. He went to the one he was sent to. It is not just every available anointing that helps you. It is the one sent to you. Discerning it now is your own assignment. But when you do find it, then restoration can come. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. They met the right prophet and he said where fell it he threw a stick and it came up if they didn't have that miracle they will write a theology that god cannot restore come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you so you will do what you do this season we need you hallelujah listen to me i will share with you a story that i've not shared in many platforms many years ago I was in this city I dropped at number 23 Equerry Street nowhere to go nobody to see I stopped there with one bag and 800 naira. that was it your city I face When I was coming into this city yesterday, tears filled my eyes. When you see the end of faith, it is glory. Help him, please. Within a year, what God had done in my life is something I will reserve for another time. Please do not tell me it's because I don't know anybody. You are joking. I'm not speaking nonsense. I know what I'm saying. somewhere in this city the lord gave me an instruction to give everything that i had i carried everything put it in one bag dragged it and dropped it in the church and went back as though i was returning from a funeral we are here for you come and only one of the keys that activate faith 
God is showing you what you might be doing wrong. Please sit for a few minutes. For many of us, all we do is in the name of Jesus, I am rising. I'm going from glory to glory. Wonderful. You are not wrong. But speaking is not the only key connected to the miracles that you desire. Speaking is powerful. But the speaking is only activated when you satisfy the conditions. For instance, Apostle, there's nobody who wants to help me. There's nobody who wants to be my friend. No. And you begin to declare in the name of Jesus, good people are coming into my life. Wonderful. But that will remain as a confession. There is a condition for friends that he who desires friends must first show himself friendly. It is your responsibility to master the laws of relationship. And while you are studying, heaven is marking your script that you are truly preparing yourself to meet a destiny helper. It is your understanding the dynamics of relationship. That is, you are satisfying the participatory roles. Don't just confess. And then a bad attitude drives a destiny helper. Recycles your pain for another four years. Believers, hear me. The Bible is able to make men wise, even unto salvation. Because it opens us up to the responsibilities. Are we together now? Yes. Apostle, I want people to listen to me. I want people to love me, whether I'm business or ministry. There are many dynamics to it. It is not just the grace of God. The anointing is... Look, let me tell you something. The anointing finds its credence from knowledge and intelligence. When, when the anointing comes upon, um, comes upon a life that is not enlightened, it will short circuit the potential of that anointing. The value of the anointing is when it comes upon an enlightened mind. Thou anointed my head, not my cup. The problem is not the cup. I want to see results in my cup, but what is anointed is my head. That's where the information is. So the anointing comes in partnership with the information that is on your head. And the result shows on your cup. So if you want him to anoint your cup, it doesn't work that way. The problem is not the cup. The cup is a report card. Thou anointes my head with oil. And then my cup shows what is on my head. Are we together? Yes. So you must find out. There is a law called the law of competence. And that competence is like a magnet. It is able to not just attract people, but it gives you the luxury of selecting the kind of people. So if you want to be able to deal, you see, miracles attract multitudes, but it is wisdom that attracts kings. So when you want to meet kings, it takes more than being a miracle worker. The queen of Sheba was not moved by Solomon's, uh, all of the stories she was hearing because she had result herself. The prophet said, arise, Isaiah 60 and verse 1, shine for thy light is come. Amplified says, arise from the depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. He says, for your light is come and the glory of God is is risen upon you he says for darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but upon you the glory of the lord shall arise verse 3 says gentiles shall come to your light he didn't say kings will come to your light kings don't come to light they come to applicable you can take it out of this service and know i now know why a certain kind of people are not coming to my shop it's not just a demonic attack excellence is a language there are those who can speak it just like your language here. So when you begin to speak that language, you will hear a response from those who can't speak it. When you understand faith, you will know that a major part of faith lies with the believer, not God. Are we blessed? So you make up your mind that I'm going to be competent. As a minister in the name of Jesus, I will be competent because I desire the nations to hear my voice. God will not announce what does not look like him. 
he will keep building you till you look like him there is there is a requisite level of spiritual competence that you must attain for him to blow you like a shofar to the nations it's not just saying i'm not just talking of excellence in the flesh alone a track record of diligence with the spirit i know god will do it it looks like it's a, it's a very comforting statement but it's not spiritual are we blessed so you must find out the conditions that are attached to the things that you desire i desire restoration there is a condition i desire kingdom wealth and prosperity there is a restore there is there is um what they call it there's a condition now the pandemic sadly has hit across the nations and many people are trusting god for increase many people are trusting god you need more than wealth you need favor that's what you need and the proof of favor sir is that your hands are never empty exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty so emptiness has an explanation when your hands are empty there is a, an exact spiritual law you are breaking that is responsible for that outcome esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the b part the bible says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her i've always said it that when the grace for favor is on you only a blind man ignores you the bible says favor works with the power of sight that when it truly is upon you anyone who looks upon you is compelled to bless you but for many years we've been taught that favor is unmerited it is only favor as it relates to salvation that is unmerited every other dimension is merited proverbs 13 and verse 15 the very definition of favor is why we don't get it good understanding does what so understanding is a giver and the name of what it gives is favor transgression is also a giver the name of what it gives is hardship hardship has an exact explanation many things that we think are just have hazard are products of our violating or obeying spiritual laws you have to be meek enough to accept this in this morning service this is the key that activates the realm of the spirit so you leave this service taking responsibility knowing that this is not just god's fault i take responsibility why am i not seeing favor in my life the word says it should be why am i not seeing speed in my life the word says it should be then you insist and the spirit of grace comes to empower you to help you then your life becomes a living wonder and you are not just happy do you know there is a way you can have results you are afraid of it because you don't know how it came so you don't even know how it is kept god wants to bring you to a point where you are not afraid of your result because you know the ability to reproduce it is there Are we together yes. so find out the conditions attached to every dimension of the kingdom you may be a pastor here and you are saying apostle i'm trusting god for increase in ministry there are exact spiritual laws that govern church growth it's not haphazard human beings are not animals they are intelligent beings there are exact conditions that must be kept number one for instance if i be lifted up from the earth there is a promise that i will draw men so when you keep lifting yourself you are fighting that law and you find out that men will not god is committed only to draw men when he is lifted number two john 4 48 except they see miraculous signs and wonders they will not believe people will not leave their homes and come for nothing i assure you human beings are busy whatever will make them dedicate three four five hours of their lives they they must be sure they will be transformed healed blessed and light applicable spiritual knowledge whose relevance they can see within their context here and now are we together yes we have a few minutes we are going to pray i don't mean to take you back sad memories forgive me if i do but during the recent protest unfortunately people boggled a lot of 
warehouses pastor there was no publicity there was no usher there was no protocol nobody even telling them where the address is hunger has an interesting way of giving people energy and passion when they found those things they went to any length what if you are that warehouse exactly what happened to that warehouse is what will happen to you all men will seek for you they will come from every nook and cranny whatever is in that warehouse if you transport it to yourself in the similitude of that passion they will come and they will wait they will inconvenience themselves people were not afraid whether camera picked them or not when people begin to pay attention to certain things it's a sign that that they, they have already concluded that some results cannot be gotten I prayed a prayer years ago I said Lord do something upon my life for the sake of your glory may I never meet with someone twice for that person to, to be changed my condition for transformation is one encounter if I have to meet you twice I will go for a retreat it's not pride it's the truth what if that is your last chance it's called the law of value there is what when you possess only wealthy people seek you there is what when you possess only poor people seek you there is what when you possess only your tribesmen seek you there is what when you possess only a region will seek you but like Jesus when you possess certain qualities all men will seek for you this is what makes you Beulah and Hephziba you become a delight of nations the law of faith is God challenging us this morning please let me challenge you there are many of us you need to go back and begin to work on yourself you need to go back work on your shop go back follow them who through faith and patience have obtained not are obtaining have obtained results love everybody but don't trust people who don't have results their opinions vacillate they are sincere but you need results are we together you need to go back you are a preacher trust God for grace Lord I believe your word concerning me that the nations would drink of the grace of God upon my life but now it's not the time to run around trusting God for invitations go back the way you announce yourself is to remain in the secret place so when he walks upon you you become a treasure you are a businessman trust God for grace you may need to take a few certifications you mean do not see what you are doing as a waste of time that is your participatory role do it with excellence you are activating faith you are partnering with the realm of the spirit you're a public speaker trust God for grace don't just speak any hand say it does not matter what then are you calling us for obtain grace sit down be strict on yourself don't pity your tears love your tomorrow more than your tears and whilst you do that the realm of the spirit is bearing witness to that which you do john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance we're going to pray are you blessed this morning god is not a man that he should lie he's a god of justice is true if you do that which should be done then i guarantee you the result is waiting for you there are people in this church for instance who have been serving faithfully and the devil may be lying to you what then is the benefit of service go back to the bible and find out the lifting power of service that overnight god can lift a man elisha had no business being a prophet he was a farmer the prophet should come from the school of prophets but one man's service and loyalty vetoed that list and created his own list until he became a prophet fear people who serve there is nothing they cannot become that whilst you are cleaning this in the morning shalakatosa lord you told me i will be lifted you do not know that there are witnesses the realm of the spirit nothing is hidden 
and while you are doing that God will carry someone's prayer point and give you as a gift as a reward for service hallelujah I desire the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon my life and when I read scripture the Bible says follow them who through faith and patience pastor I remember I was in Joss and I stood for six hours at the Reinhard Bonke crusade I was already a preacher but I've said I'm a preacher I have revelation what is this man even sharing a simple story that will make you almost sleep that kind of dishonor will drive the anointing from your life I stood there for six hours like a madman and I was watching him preach and when I received the grace I knew it came we are going to pray I hope and pray that this morning service has opened you up to see that time never changes anything time only reveals it is your decision out of a heart of faith the revelation of who God is, his integrity and his ability. Yes, when the day you believe God and engage the principles. Apostle, will I ever raise godly children? Yes, when the day you believe God and you understand the bible said train up a child in the way he should go not the way you want him to go there is a way he should go your first assignment is to find out what way it is you see that yes. apostle i've lost everything in my life can i have it back ah the bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree what then is the key restoration is the ministry of the prophetic that means when your pastor stands to declare over you you don't just say ah my pastor no this is a man of god sent to me i receive of that which comes from him and it sustains the ability to activate realities in your life and we pray please rise upon your feet we are here for you come and Bible says in Mark chapter 4 we are praying now please give it to us Mark 11 I meant to say from verse 23 Mark 11 23 we are praying verily verily I say unto you house on the rock Portacot whatsoever whosoever shall say to this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said the law is in verse 24 please look up therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them then you shall have them you can never have what you have not received you see listen the bible says the proof that you will have is when you receive it and that the instrument for reception in the spirit is prayer that when you pray knowing that god is a giver receive it and you will have it you will never have what you have not received. We are praying now so that we will receive. Are you ready to receive? Lift your voice in the realm of the spirit. Begin to pray. I receive grace. I receive wisdom. Someone is praying. In the name of Jesus I receive. So that I may have. I receive. 
so that I may have. I receive wisdom so that I may manifest wisdom. I receive so that I will have. I receive so that I will have. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're going to pray. Father, take away all that attempts to make you look like you are not a God of integrity in my life. I declare that I trust you. Someone prophesy, I trust God, I trust God. Lift your voice and speak to every lie. Speak to every lie in your business. Speak to every lie. God, I trust you in your spiritual work with God. In your family, I trust you. You are dependable. You are a God of integrity. You are a God of ability. You are a God of integrity. You are a God of ability. Shabakata Branda Kasala Pusa Branda Salaya. Shile Branda Skoto Shala Branda Sosia Padana. Isaiah 43 and verse 26 we are going to declare now when it has to do with creation or transporting spiritual realities your words are powerful and we are going to be making declarations in the name of Jesus Isaiah 43 and verse 26 it says put me in remembrance let us plead together. He says, declare thou that ye might be justified. We are going to make some declarations in the name of Jesus. That you will take the word of God and put it on the lips of faith. Do not let the devil make you feel you are making noise. Whether it is over your business or your family. Is someone ready to speak? Open your mouth and begin to speak God's word. I decree and declare that I am the head and not the tail. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter please declare unto the perfect day i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising for my shame i receive double in the name of jesus where i have been deserted so that no man passed through me i become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations program your realities in the spirit a thousand shall fall by my right ten thousand by my right hand none shall harm me with my eyes shall i behold and see the reward of the wicked i decree and declare that I love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even my God, has anointed me with an oil of gladness above my fellows. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. five more minutes and we're done exodus 3 21 the spirit of god is still taking me back to that scripture 
and the Lord is saying that one of the things that most of us need here is the favor of God upon our lives read it together and we are going to pray this please I like you when it's time to pray don't don't worry about who is by at your left or right I like you to pray from the depth of your heart and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that from today as I go I shall not go empty lift your voice and begin to prophesy as I go as I go as I go spiritually as I go financially I shall not go empty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Shalanda kapras kaparuta shalakato Ebrakete sobari sasariata As I go spiritually As I go financially I shall not go empty My bands are full with corn, with wine and oil Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev we are going to pray now listen listen this is the last prayer point and then I speak over your life you are going to challenge every mountain that has stood before you listen you are a priest now don't be silent you are going to lift your voice are we together atmosphere Call those challenges by name. In the name of Jesus, your power is broken over my life. Prayerlessness, lack of resources, disfavor. Someone is engaging the realm of the spirit. Change, shift, redirect, reorder. to speak over your life and I want you to believe it so that you will return back home knowing that I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house you don't find this in a bank you don't find this in a lecture hall there are things you only find in the house of God I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of God every door that has refused to open over your destiny I come tonight by the anointing of the spirit I speak to that door be opened now be opened now 
please help them be open now be open now hear me I place an unction upon your head that from this morning service I declare carry on common grace wonder walking grace listen I don't know who has been experiencing delay in this place that the only thing growing in your life is your age every other thing has refused to grow but I stand here in the name of Jesus I declare to you receive speed 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 spiritually receive speed financially receive speed I accelerate your result by the power of the Holy Ghost Anyone trusting God for a job here in the next three months, I stand by the spirit of prophecy. I speak to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Return with your testimony, return with your testimony. Hallelujah! The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I want to call the helpers of your destiny. I prophesy to the north of Port Harcourt, the south of Port Harcourt, east and west. Whoever must show up in your life and hold your hands to the next level, I compel them to appear in your destiny. Finally, let me speak over your finances. There is a bird that can bring bread for Elijah at Brook Cherries. Listen. There are three dimensions of wealth. The first dimension of wealth has to do with transacting value. Are we together now? You transact value and you receive rewards in exchange. The second level has to do with the blessings that come from transforming lives. You don't sell that value, you give it free. The rewards that come is the appreciation from the lives changed. But the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by prophecy. That God is able to activate possibilities in the life of a man. He says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. He says, believe in his prophets. Was it not the prophet that said, by this time tomorrow, I want to speak over someone's life. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, before this year, 2020, comes to an end. I stand by the God who sent me and I speak over your life. May your finances change in a way that will surprise you. I also pray for your spiritual life whatever has destroyed your prayer life your passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your life fresh fire upon your life fresh hunger for the word fresh hunger for prayer fresh hunger for the house of God fresh hunger for service in the name of Jesus Christ.
even in this service. Someone pray. Inside pray, the overflows pray, online pray. Let this be a moment of visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor, I have said thank you, but I will say thank you again. Thank you for this opportunity and then thank you for your obedience. Thank you, sir. The Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive uh, this final session because you will not only hear, you will not, indeed, you will have. In the name of Jesus, the apostle said, The things that we have heard, the things that our eyes have seen, the things that our hands have handled, even of the word of life, this is what we teach. So I pray that your heart be sensitive to what God is doing. I'm going to just give, this final session will be a charge because there is a very strong impartation that must come upon your destiny. I'm going to be praying for the sick and then I'm going to pray, be praying for all those who are bound you cannot go back home where you came. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please be seated. We're discussing the laws of the Spirit. And um, we began to talk about the law of faith. Please do well to get these teachings and listen to them again and again and again and again. Send them to your loved ones so that they can experience the grace of God. When it has to do with the matters of the spirit and the matters of the kingdom, in truth, your being enlightened as far as secular enlightenment is concerned can only help you go so far. Spiritual things will require more than being educated more than being exposed because these are matters of the spirit the bible says the spiritual man the carnal man cannot understand the things of the spirit because they are spiritually discerned isaiah 29 and verse 11 explains a mystery about this bible about this book isaiah 29 please give it to us and verse 11 he says the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed not closed, sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Why? Not because it is not opened. You can open it, but it is still sealed. Next verse. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. So there is a realm where both the learned and the unlearned have to submit to the rabbi. Because this is of the spirit. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? So we are learning Jesus as we explore the laws of the spirit. As we explore the mysteries, I call them. Of the kingdom this is very very powerful we dealt with the law of faith I won't go back there for the sake of time but please understand that faith is not just mere speech faith has to do with our conviction and not you don't have to there are specific qualities about God that must be believed number one his integrity number two his ability Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a dove just hovering around this place. 
remember every time the spirit of god is moving it means there is darkness in that place because he moves to produce light and the spirit of the lord hovered round the face of the waters i'm seeing a dove move and i'm seeing the number 11 and the lord is saying that he's taking away reproach from 11 specific people who continue teaching but i just saw that ability of the spirit is the ministry of the spirit and some of these people may be here some of them may be at the overflow but right now i pray in the name of jesus that every one of such people that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of the christ let there be liberty for you let there be liberty for you in the name of jesus pastor all men are really the same except for three factors i was just thinking about this this is not my message it's just a strong contemplation all men are the same except for three factors number one the quality of the information and the revelation you have access to this is the first distinguishing factor this is what separates men into spiritual cadres. All men are essentially the same except for the quality of the spiritual information that you have access to. Number two, the quality of relationships that provide the leverage for you at the level that you're enlightenment has taken you to because you see knowledge is like a ladder when you rise there you will find out you are not alone there are other people too there so knowledge lifts you and then there are relationships that come in honor of that enlightened version it can make a difference in your life and then number three the quality and the dimension of spiritual empowerment that is upon your life. The quality and the dimension of spiritual empowerment that is upon a life is what really makes the difference. Remove these factors and all men are exactly the same. Predictably the same. That means that the moment I submit myself to a body of spiritual knowledge I begin to exempt myself from certain possibilities there are possibilities that may not happen again on the strength of that light and then there are other possibilities that will now begin to happen so when you find out that two people seem to be so different it is not really the God factor as it were because the same Lord is rich unto all but they have been separated into cadres of possibilities on the strength of the quality and the kind of information they have accessed the relationships they have that provide leverage and a system of advantage and then number three the engracing the kind and the quality of empowerment that is upon them I believe in the name of Jesus Christ that this is what this conference is achieving. Access to light, information, access to strategic alliances and relationships that will provide both spiritual and physical leverage. And then that God will introduce into your life graces that compel situations and circumstances to begin to change. When this happens, you are called a wonder. There is a name for whoever possesses these qualities. A sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. So we discuss the law of faith as one of the spiritual laws that can activate possibilities. The realm of the spirit. You are brooding over every time. You are causing light to shine
please listen what you are about to learn in the next few minutes i pray from the depth of my heart that you will place value on it what i'm about to show you is what has changed my life and it's what will change the life you will become master over situations and circumstances when you learn these mysteries these are keys a door does not open because you are knocking a door opens because there is a key hallelujah you can weary yourself in front of a door and a small key can open a big door and if that key is missing as big as you are you can stand in front of that door at the mercy of that key praise the name of the lord the law of impartation this is one of the mysteries of the kingdom that controls the supernatural this is one of the keys that can turn ordinary people into signs and wonders now according to God's system of operation please listen men on earth cannot achieve the purposes of God in the strength of the flesh the Bible clearly tells us that the flesh the body is limited limited in various ways limited because men are limited because men are not omniscient are we together yes and limited because men are not omnipresent these are the qualities God did not share with man so even though we have dominion our dominion is shared dominion we depend on the source like the moon gets its light from the Sun are we together now yes so the limitation not having these qualities has a side effect we cannot be efficient enough to produce God's dimension of results on the strength of the flesh and so he created a system to remedy it the name of that system is what we call grace grace is not about salvation grace it's not even just about favor grace is the name given to every good and perfect gift that comes from above given to the saints but accessed only through the office of the Christ it is called grace so mercy is grace anointing is grace faith is grace every spiritual quality that resides in the Christ and given to the saints only through the office of the person Jesus Christ is called grace are we together so when you find people who begin to manifest certain dimensions of exploits among the many things that are at work in their lives are the levels and the dimensions like pastor would say of the graces at work in them you can know the grace upon you by the physical possibilities that recycle around your space and you can know when it grows because everything on earth is truly a report card it is speaking to you your challenges are speaking to you your results are speaking to you they continue to tell you the kind of grace that is upon your life hoping they will change is a waste of time you must introduce into your life the grace grace is like currency everything can be bought it just depends on how much you have just because you are anointed does not mean you it can purchase every spiritual reality how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth not that he was anointed look at the extent if I have a thousand dollars it can buy me something some things in Port Harcourt but if I'm looking for a car most likely a thousand dollars will not buy a car not because it is not money it is not money enough to purchase that are we together now so when the Bible says grace and peace be multiplied he knows that you will confront realities in your life that your current level of grace cannot obtain it please follow me carefully now the way God remedies for this is not by anointing everyone that's not what he does 
he knows the dimensions of him that are required for victory on earth so the way he does it is that the moment he sees Israel in need of that grace he finds Jacob a man and he enters a personal covenant with that man through the sacrifice of alignment and he supplies a dimension of his grace upon that man for the sake of those who are calling and you call him for that grace he will refer you to that man as the career of that possibility and for as long as that person is alive you will never obtain that grace ignoring that covenant please understand this i want to show you a very deep mystery <laughs> paul has an encounter with jesus and you would think that everything he needed for ministry would be given by jesus directly jesus is talking to him and refers him back to a man to continue his growth process so men become spiritual systems on account of this covenant that they have with god so if it is the grace for faith there is a man on earth today who has entered that covenant with God and for as long as he's alive you will not ignore him and walk in that level of faith so pick any man of faith from anywhere in the world it will still be traced back to that spiritual system of administering faith this is not human worship I'm showing you a very powerful mystery there is no man on earth today who truly works in the healing ministry who ignores Benny Hinn because currently on earth now he's not just a human being he's the spiritual system that is responsible through partnership with the Holy Spirit for administering that grace so no matter how God trains you eventually he will create a path if he wants to bless you no matter what dealing you have in the secret place he must make your path to cross there are men like that the Bible says there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial that even among the stars one differeth from another in glory until Reinhard Bonke died he was the spiritual system that represented evangelism are you seeing that now there was no territory that rejected him and that grace came upon him from Billy Graham many of you may not know Billy Graham is one of the only ministers that preached in North Korea we ignore these truths and we continue to recycle pain and limitation and mediocrity in our lives when Jesus was born watch this you've heard me say it pastor Jesus was under a closed heaven by him he years your Jesus the logos of God could not open his own heavens until he traced a man called John the prophet watch this Jesus you thought because he was the lamb of God his heavens will be open the father was watching because there was an ordinance that must be fulfilled it's amazing how strict the realm of the spirit is for one violation of spiritual order you will you can pay for years this is why enlightenment is powerful so Jesus looks for John and when John saw him a code was given to John in the wilderness every time John baptized he looked up the heavens did not open he said go away John was not just a Baptist he was identifying he was looking for someone that's why baptism stopped the moment he met Jesus there's no record of him baptizing anyone now watch this please follow me John did not just go around baptizing no he was using it as a spiritual strategy to look for someone so Jesus comes and he says behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world Jesus would have said wow you are really a sharp prophet I applaud your discernment now G John is standing there pastor and John said I am not worthy even to untie the latchet of your shoes and Jesus makes a very profound statement suffer it to be so you want to destroy my ministry 
if I do not submit to what you represent because until I came you are the one giving the keys to this place and not even me can violate what you represent watch this and John picks Jesus dips him in water brings him out and your Bible says and the heavens open and God spoke and said now this is my beloved son what was he before the Bible never called him son until that happened thank you for watching like our videos share and subscribe thank you